Ooh, sublight. Okay. You're just a worker, okay? Okay. Didn't feel like I was gonna get anywhere there. That's just Mr. Ouch. Now just Adreno. Armor parts. Oh, okay. Where am I going? Right, thirty-eight. Hmm. Uh, close the door. Personal files. Finding fires. Amber Heights. And are we full circle? Alright, we're full circle. 
full circle. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. Mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. Yeah, thank you. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. back good news bad news all of the above all of the above says someone who's never had any fun <laughs> exactly see i'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense sensible got her head on straight Whew, that hits the spot right in the uh oh no there it is there it is. <laughs> yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. <laughs> Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. Ah. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. Mm hmm If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Yeah. Mighty big gun you got there. I'm looking forward to seeing you use it. But out here, the daintier weapons ain't gonna cut it. Manasaurs require stopping power. Yeah, but what's left after you're done with them? Definitely that one. Go Hunter. I don't remember who I wanted to intimidate her. It's not what I want to do. Um, that's what. Yep, we were going back away, huh? I ship with a Merc who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it, slept with it. You're not like that, as far as I know. Sounds like he had himself a discerning palate. Where are you going with this? He couldn't hit the broadside of an assault cruiser, hence the tin shredder. Wouldn't be the first man I met bearing compensation for his lack of skill. 
All right. 22, okay. Oh, I meant to, uh... Ninety-two, okay. I see you've stuck around. If you got the bits, check the menu for the latest prices. Inflation's terrible out here. Whoa, hold on. I. Okay. Okay. Leak contained. My stars. Look, Captain. This is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is gonna take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. Okay. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. Mm-hmm. I see you've stuck around. Lucky you. All right, we're Cascadia. All right, what are we doing? Walbrook, somewhere out there. Meet with Catherine. We're going to get that hundred and we're going to convince him. Okay, I got that. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Don't care. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. I'm making it my business. Oh, yeah? What are you saying exactly? Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them, buddy. Fine, we're going. This ain't worth it. Yeah, get lost. Don't look at me funny, Nyoka. you a saw bone? Figured you ought to have smelled worse. Sure, but those things reek like bad cologne. It's different. 
I'm with you there. At least humans have the courtesy to wait a while before their bodies start to sting. Most of them. <laughs> I'm liking this like little crew we've assembled. <laughs> oh, she's my Blue Ranger now. Got my blue ranger, my pink ranger. Apparently I'm black ranger. Yeah. I don't know why I've decided to become power rangers. And map journal. Amber Heights. So we solved a murder. We've done good. Done good indeed. What's that smell coming out of Celia's apartment? Sebastian. I swear she buys something from him every day. Again, you've really got to stop doing that. Braxton, I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Dilated pupils, anxious posture, muscle spasms. She's high on some quality stuff. Quality stuff? No, okay, maybe just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the Marauders and the Raptodons outside, you know? Where's Braxton? Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? Folk who disappear in the wilderness generally aren't able to come back. Don't get your hopes up. Okay. All right, we've gone everywhere except that middle spot, which I've been very much ignoring. Could I get another advance, Mr. Non? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. It looks Essen, now the of front and center, highlight our production. Checking your hours will pass due time. Uh, okay. MSI keeps the fishery running and the walls in place. I hope your being here means the board is loosening their restrictions. I wish. You did. Uh... Stellar. Okay. Not much there. Tell Celia she's doing an excellent job. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, 
producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on rapted on acid. Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying this? <laughs> so I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. Sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Would I be blunt or would it be... Mm. Trying to swear. Yeah. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. <laughs> he doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Good to have standards, I guess. I know what I'm looking for. All right. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Yeah, you. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. <laughs> That's very generous. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous, I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Yeah, I'm trying my own path. A charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Tartarus? Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Sorry. <laughs> ah, we're not that kind of person. Oh, a shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. What exactly are you talking about? so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. And now you don't have to play by their rules. Sounds like a deal to me. Well, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are... Precarious. Uh, do I stop? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Ingenious plan? 
Don't get me wrong, I'm starting to admire your sand, but I bet you could overcomplicate a sisty sandwich. What a charmingly roguish turn of phrase. Allow me to express my thanks at your confidence and assure you that my plan is indeed sufficiently complicated. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach. And the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Oh. With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. <laughs> Sounds useful. What is it? Quite one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. It is quite the rush. <laughs> In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in, these days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. What can I do for you? But that's terrible. What happened? I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've mm -hmm. been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them eventually. Of course you would have. Of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Thank you. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Yes. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. I've asked myself the same thing many times, especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Oh? You see what I have to deal with? For many years, this planet <laughs> was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. But back then, it was known as Terra 1. Oh? <laughs> yes. Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were mixed. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave them a reason to put to paper. Sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. Mm -hmm. No guts, no glory. That's also what I thought. Oh, we were young and bold then. Not unlike yourself. We saw the chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. It's humane, but it's also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. That's what I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. 
<laughs> I have came the figure. In a manner of speaking, many of us stayed behind in an act of quiet but firm defiance. As the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. Must have pissed off some real big suits to get stuck with that. On the contrary, I wrote lots of very important reports on behalf of top MSI officials before I was able to achieve this position. I moved forward with our planned reforms as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. Oh? I don't think I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah, that'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. If you can't beat him, might as well join him and reach into their pockets. <laughs> to be on the board is to be part of the colonial community, and being cut off means slow strangulation. I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes, it'll be easier to explain once we have the Bolt 52. Okay. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. Makes sense. It's straight bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Mioka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. For the greater good. Allegedly. Allegedly. Monarch may be dangerous, but it's hardly the wasteland the board describes it to be. Whatever the board's goals, the greater good has little part in them. What can I do for you? Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. Mm -hmm. You'd head south along the road and look for a mountain to the west. Not that I'd advise it. It's a terribly dangerous trek. But I see you've met Nioka. Anyone can get you there safely. It's her. Yep. He just wants me out of his bar. <laughs> okay. There you are. You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen, but I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. I must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Manipillers ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. <laughs> At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. <laughs> You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rat glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. 
But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit, on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. <laughs> you sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia? I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Yeah, don't have to bring any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. Okay. Mm, I think that does it for the town. Uh, I don't care. Need three more levels. No, four? Four more levels. <sighs> Captain, let's talk. Oh? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. Thanks for the compliment. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. We can handle it. Yeah. Really? Butter up. Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. Mm-hmm. What do you need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I'd buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to Barry. After that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. No. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Yeah. Okay. All the way down there. Oh. 
all the way down there. And Fallbrook's over there, okay. Ha, stuff we can do let's loot for looting sake. Good. And that's closed up. Cascadia to the right, fall. Oh. Nice, nice direction. I like that. Upstairs. How much ammo do we really have, really? None that has any weight. Good. <sighs> okay. Don't we huh? No, okay, I thought that was gonna be a little cave in there. No, 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 no. Alright. Run around, run around, run around. Here they come. Perfection. Very useful indeed. Looks like he had a very good time. Got 
myself a nice hat. Okay. And the worst thing about you know, these places. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. Think they left anything good behind? Oh, well, that's what we're here to find out. Hoping there's another light function somewhere. Anyways, I could have swore there was another one. Well, there's a hole in there. Seems to be our goal. Now this is our yeah. Easily see I'm not enjoying the ambient noises around here. Mather residence. Oh, okay. A visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Please come in. Come in. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. In my experience, any stranger this friendly either wants to rob an airlock you or sell you something. Nonsense. Out here in the wilderness, we welcome all who come to our door. Now come in, make yourselves comfortable. I'm a 
afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. Something ain't right about this. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Sorry, I'm not real good with, uh, names. It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. Other times, it's like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? Mama. You must be famished. So are we, my friend, but one can't rush a fine meal. Is it sticking again? I'm afraid nothing out here works the way it used to. There's a bit of a trick to jimmying it open. I'll see to it once we've finished dinner. Please, there's no need for incivility. Though I certainly understand how hunger sharpens the temper. I promise I'll get the door open once we've had our meal. Until then, why don't you stretch your legs a bit? A nice walk around the house will surely limber them up. Oh, he locked us in here? What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the Eternal provides, does it not? The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the Divine, and we were made to spread it across the stars. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, the universe provides for us, as your being here proves. What do you mean by that? Just that your presence here is a gift to us, and one that we don't take for granted. Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? I hope you favor ketchup and woolly cheddar. We have to make do with what we can find. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Liar! You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring. I'm not telling you. Sodden asshole. Ain't enough that the rats eat everyone. Now people are doing it too. Yeah, that's what I felt that was gonna do. Okay. Oh. We couldn't see anything from here, okay. 
Well, it's time for, uh... What do we say? But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh, dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Quickly, my dear. She's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Don't worry. We'll make this quick. Okay, they don't need this stuff anymore. I had a feeling they killed him, but you know. I want to let the story play out and <clears throat> us figure it all out. Didn't need to open that door. I thought it was another like safe spot. <clears throat> okay. I had, I had hoped to find him alive, though. We don't get everything we want. Oh, this is all that's up here. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, carry limit is very high. Yeah, someone else will clean it up. <clears throat> 